Monrovia, Liberians went to the polls on Tuesday for a presidential election they hope will mark their first democratic transfer of power in more than seven decades, despite allegations of fraud. Former World Footballer of the Year George Weah is squaring up against Vice President Joseph Bokai, both of them promising to tackle poverty and corruption in a country where most citizens have no reliable electricity or clean drinking water. They are bidding to succeed Ellen Johnson Sirleaf in a runoff vote delayed for more than a month after Bokai and another candidate alleged widespread fraud in October's first round vote, a challenge that the Supreme Court rejected this month. There were no reports of violence as voting proceeded under sunny skies in the capital Monrovia. Election agents told Reuters first indications pointed to a lower turnout than in the first round. It is great day for Liberia, a test day for democracy, said Bokai after casting his vote in Painesville. We will accept the results provided they meet all the standards. Officials said results were expected in the next few days declining to give a specific date. Johnson Sirleaf's 12-year rule cemented peace in the West African country after civil war ended in 2003, and brought in much-needed aid. But critics, including much of the country's youth, say her administration was marred by corruption and that she did little to raise most Liberians out of dire poverty. Liberia was also racked by the Ebola crisis, which killed thousands between 2014 and 2016 while a drop in iron ore prices since 2014 has dented export revenues. WIA, World Footballer of the Year in 1995, won with 38% in the first round versus Bokai's 29%. I voted George WIA because I believe that he will do better for me and my country. I want change, said Mayama Kamara, a 32-year-old businesswoman, after casting her ballot in the capital. Marked improvements. Observers from the U.S. based National Democratic Institute said polling stations were better organized than in the first round. The National Elections Commission said there were isolated incidents of voting irregularities, including one woman caught trying to vote twice, but no sign of widespread graft. So far, the election process has been smooth and there are marked improvements on the October 10 poll, Neck said. Bokai has found it harder to convince voters that he will bring change, given that he worked alongside Johnson Sirleaf for 12 years. Wea, by contrast, has won the hearts of mostly young Liberians through his star performances for Europe's biggest football teams in the 1990s. His arrival at a polling station in Painesville was met with cheers by a crowd of supporters. My focus now is to win, he told reporters. From there, I am going to get on the drawing board with my team and then well put a plan together to move our country forward. Some however are wary of WIA's lack of political experience, education and concrete policy. Bokai understands diplomacy, said MacArthur Newell Kerma, a school registrar in Painesville. WIA is not experienced and doesn't know the workings of government.